Hi, it's Diane from NatureWorks. Welcome to part two of the releasing of the Monarch Tagged Butterflies for the summer of 2022. Um, come on in closer and I'll show you what we've done. Part one video, I showed you how to tag these beautiful butterflies. And as you can see, they are ready to fly free. We've put a serial number tag for Monarch Watch on each wing. That way they can be tracked at, in different parts of the country as they fly south for their big migration to overwinter in Mexico. Uh, one thing, if you ever see one of these tags on a butterfly, try really hard to get a picture. Of it. And you can submit the photo to monarchwatch.org on their website. And that way, whoever tagged the butterfly will know where it made it to. And that's it's very rewarding as a tagger to know that my butterflies have made it further south. So we've had some found at Hammonasset, because that's kind of a place they stop. We've had a couple found here in Cape May, and we've had several butterflies found actually all the way, 3,100 miles away in Mexico. So they do make it all the way to Mexico from here in Connecticut, which is amazing. So, okay, I'm just gonna open the cage and we'll let them go and we'll wish them well. Good luck, guys. There's kind of a nice mix of males and females in here. The females will not mate. They are kind of programmed to just go. So, ooh, there they go. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, and look at one landed right here on the echinacea. We'll see if it, um, Okay, so I'm gonna see, if you wanna come around this way toward the flowers, what I did was I, I put a collection here of the monarch's favorite flowers to nectar on to fuel up for their flight to Mexico. So number one is our asters. Asters are just starting to bloom. They bloom all through September and they're really good for monarch butterflies to get nectar from, to get ready for their big flight. This one's probably gonna take off. But. Another good flower that they like, which sometimes is not totally in bloom, are the echinaceas. Let's see. I'd love for one to start eating well on the video, but there we go. Oh, no. Yep, okay, so this monarch is taking a drink of the nectar from this flower. And this is why we talk about planting for a succession of bloom for a long season because anything that's blooming in the fall you're feeding those late season pollinators and you're feeding these butterflies that have to fly 3,000 miles to overwinter in Mexico. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. So they drink, oh, they drink with their proboscis. They stick it down into the flower and they actually drink the nectar. I have, oh, there's a bunch more to release. I'll try another another one here. This is Soledago. It's not quite in full bloom, so I'm not sure if the butterfly will enjoy this flower or not, if it'll just rest. But Soledago is one of our all-time favorite native plants here at NatureWorks. We try to carry as many varieties as we can because it is a great nectar source for bees and butterflies in the fall. So this one is a female and this one over here is a male. Maybe you could come over this way and I'll show you why it's a male if it if it will cooperate. They seem to be cooperating nicely. Um, there's two dots on its wings. Can you see the dots? So that's how I know that that one is a male. There you go. Oh, they all took off. Oh, one flew in the water. We might have to rescue the guy in the water. Although they do drink water too. Um, they also like mud. So I'll take the rest of these guys out and hopefully you can stop in at NatureWorks on a day that we have butterflies hatching in the store. will post on Facebook and Instagram if we have a, a bunch hatch and we would love you to come help us release them. 
And if you're brave, you can even try tagging. Oh, that's Vernonia. That's another great flower for fall. It's just starting to bloom. And this is Joe Pieweed. Bumblebees love this as well. So we have a huge nursery full of native pollinator favorites for the bees and butterflies for late season. So um, come on in, help us tag some butterflies. Keep your eye on our Facebook and Instagram pages for days. I'll post when we're gonna tag that day. And we hope to see you here at the Garden Center soon. Thanks.